quick little experiment in this video. Container, hot water, bit of car wash, shampoo. One of the wheel trims that came with the Colt. I've given it a quick brush off outside. As you can see, not too bad. We're going to give it a clean and see how well we can get it to revive. Because it'll save sourcing new ones. So I'll just give it a bit of a scrub. So, there's a bit of a crack there. We should be able to glue that up. Give it a start, we'll turn it around. Start at the centre this time, just to be different. Everything on this car is being done with a little bit of a spend less budget, shall we say. As I've said previously, everything revolves around the book sales that we get, and a percentage of the profits that we make on the books goes towards getting something done on the cult. Go back, put this out of the way. Oh, what a lovely. Coffee girl. There we are, rinsed off. It's not perfect, but it's a start. I shall now find a an old cloth and wipe it down. Old t-shirts are good for things. And I'll put it out in the sun to dry off. Been a nice warm day as I said, so about five minutes will do it. Five minutes aside. We're back. Less than five minutes. There we go, you can see that. Bit of machine on there from the white. How's that? I did notice as I was coming back in, manufacturing data on the back. I hope that this particular one was made in the fifth month of 1994 and the cars are 1988 so it's obviously not original. And in the best traditions of <coughs> seeing things on screen, here's one I didn't do earlier. This is what it was like before I started cleaning it. And there are another two on top of this one to do. They are pretty much the same. This one doesn't appear to have a crack in, in the edge of it, in the rim of it, like this one. This one is probably the worst one. I'll glue that up, that's easy. So we shall carry on, and I won't bore you any longer with it. Right, just back for a quick one, just to show you the colour of the water after just two of those wheel trims being cleaned. It's a little chocolatey. Right. Another bit of this brown rag. What I'm going to try first is an optics interior cleaner, which is produced by a friend of mine. WA Products. Support WA Products, West Australian Products, wherever you can. So we'll just give it a little bit of a try. I know it says interior cleaner, so it should be relatively mild. Let's just see what it does. Taking a little bit of stuff off, but that's more of a scuff than a, a fade. You can definitely feel the, the roughness there. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a lot with that. I'll just try this section here. That feels reasonably smooth. Let sit there for a second. see a difference. Definitely there. So Des, your interior cleaner is good for old plastic hubcaps. There we go. It's just taking that little bit of extra grime off. 
that bit there, if you can see that, with the crack is, that's scratched. So we'll just have to live with that as far as I'm concerned. We're not making a show car here. And I've also done a second one off camera. It's been washed just in the way the first one was. It's had a going over with the um, uh, interior cleaner, the optics interior cleaner. So it's not perfect, but it's old. This one's the same date as the other one, May 94 manufacturer. Which makes sense if they're all set. And I'm happy with that. Two to go. Which will be for another day because the day's getting on and I have other jobs to do. I'll attempt to get this video out as soon as I can in the next day or so.